Hello and welcome to Baking on a Budget. Now, this time what we have is this wonderful spicy bean burger recipe. Very simple to make, very inexpensive and delicious. So, I've got all the materials over here. I'm going to run through exactly what we've got and I'm going to tell you how much all of that costs. To begin with, we have one tin of cannellini beans at 49 pence. Now, you can put whatever type of bean you would like in this. I know a lot of people do make them with black beans. You could use haricot beans. Choice would be yours. We are, with that, we have one clove of garlic at four pence. Now, again, these are very small cloves of garlic, so I've put two very small ones in there, and we'll call that one. We have one onion at nine pence. We have half a bell pepper at 30 pence. I've got the whole thing there, but I'll probably use the rest of that uh, as a side salad or something like that. Okay, we have two tablespoons of tomato puree at 15 pence. We have some breadcrumbs at about eight pence. We have half a teaspoon of cumin at two pence. We have half a teaspoon of chili powder at two pence. We have one teaspoon of paprika at four pence and one teaspoon of black pepper also at four pence. And we'll also put a pinch of salt in there. Now, that whole recipe comes to one pound 27 and we are gonna get three nice sized substantial uh, bean burgers out of that, making each bean burger 42 pence a piece. So the first thing we want to do is just prep up the veg. So I'll just chop this garlic, I'll just roughly chop it. As I say, a very small piece of garlic that, but um, it'll be okay. So we'll just finally chop that up. Okay, that will do just fine. Now, we're gonna chop this onion also. Again, the choice is yours how these are chopped. You can have them coarse in there or chopped medium or finely. Now, this one I'm just going to chop in half and then I'll slice it up and we'll chop that and put it with the garlic. And as I say, what we want is half of this bell pepper. So I shall just clean that out and we just want to get all the pith and the seeds out of there. We can chop this up. I'll just take that bit off the bottom. So I'm going to slice this up and then just dice it and put it along with the rest of the veg there. Now, first thing we want to do is fry all of this up. On the hob, we have a small pan and really I'm just going to put a drizzle of oil in there. I'm saying that will do. I'm going to put a little heat under that. Right, so I'll just put this on a medium heat and I'm just going to whack the onions, pepper and garlic into the pan. And whilst this is frying, I'm going to drain the cannellini beans. And as I said, it doesn't have to be cannellini beans. I just like these cannellini beans. They're very fleshy, very nice in a recipe like this. I drain them off. And with the beans strained, I'm just going to place them on this tea towel and take any of the excess liquid out of them and just pat them dry a little bit. And I think I'll just pop them back in the sieve. It'll make them a little bit easier to handle. There they go. Now, with the onions and garlic just softening a little in the pan there, the next thing we want to do is just add these beans into the mix also. Right, now to that I've added, that's probably about one tablespoon of tomato puree, and I've added half a teaspoon of this cumin powder. I'm also going to add half a teaspoon of the chili powder. This is just a mild chili powder. Again, you could spice it however you wish. And this is a quarter teaspoon measure. So I will put a couple of them in there. And then to that, we want a full teaspoon of this paprika. And if we need a little more, we'll mix this up. If we need a little bit more paprika, we can always add some. And to that, I'm going to put a black pepper. And then we just want to combine all of that. This will be quite dry in the pan. Um, and that's the way we want it to be. It will loosen up a lot on the next stage of this. Smelling delicious, by the way. So, next phase is to put this mixture into a jug. Now, you could do this with a food processor. Um, I don't have a one, so I'm going to do it with this hand blender. What we want to do is just lightly blend this. Um, we don't want to blend it too much. 
just to get it to a point where we can form it into a burger. Okay, and that will take about, about that. I think that will do it. Right now, that's still quite a wet mixture, so I'm going to add one, two tablespoons of the breadcrumbs, and we'll mix all that in. That's looking better. Okay. Still quite soft, so I think what I'll do is I'll just put a little bit more of that breadcrumb mix in there. These are the homemade breadcrumbs, by the way, um, which is essentially a couple of slices of bread in the oven for about 15 minutes, just till, go, just till they go really crisp and all the moisture comes out of the bread. And then break them up and breadcrumbs, cost pennies. That being that, I'm just going to flour my hands a little because this will be a little bit sticky. We're going to take some out and simply make it into a burger shape. Now again, <laughs> how do you like your burgers? Um, this is going to be, that's about two centimetres, I would say, maybe one and a half, two centimetres thick. Um, I'll just put a little flour on this plate to stop them from sticking. There we are. And we'll get that one. Let's get all of that out of there. That is looking good. There we are. Just carefully with these because as I say that mixture is still a little sticky. You could put a little more um, of the breadcrumb mix in. You could put an egg in. Uh, it wouldn't obviously be a vegetarian dish at that point. But to bind it, or you could just put some flour in to bind it. Personally, I don't mind them like this. They are going to fry up and they're going to be delicious. So that's what bean burgers formed. Now I'm just going to fry them. I'm just going to take one of them and fry it. The rest of them I will cover and they will keep in the fridge for a good few days. All right, so I've just got a drizzle of oil in this pan. It's been on a medium heat for a little while. And we are now ready to get one of these beauties in there. So let's pop that in and let that fry through and that is going to be delicious i can smell that already and smell the cumin and the paprika in there that's going to be a delicious burger okay that's had a couple of minutes and i've flipped it and i'm just going to let that continue until it browns up nicely on both sides and then we are going to have a taste of that okay and i do believe we're almost there that's had about five minutes there i'll give it a couple more seconds for the other side and then we'll get that out onto a plate and that really took no time at all that's a delicious um, spicy bean burger with uh, red peppers, onions and garlic in there. Absolutely delicious. And as I say, only 42 pence each. Now, I'm just going to try this as it is. Obviously, you could make a meal out of this with one of the potato rosties, for which there is a link here. And also with some of that delicious homemade coleslaw, for which there's another link here. And you could also, obviously, put one of these in a burger bun with some uh, lettuce, mayonnaise on. Delicious. But anyhow, we have a piece here which I'm going to taste. Mmm, fantastic. Very simple to make. The vegetables have still got a little bit of crunch in them, which is really nice. And just taste those spices coming through. As I say, not overly spicy, but if you want to make them a little hotter, uh, spicy hot, you can always add some more spices to it. I do hope you give these a go. Very nice, very tasty. And as I say, with the rosti, and some of the coleslaw or side salad, something like this. Delicious meal for around a pound, you know. Mmm, superb. But I'll just say, if you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more delicious, easy to prepare meals like this in the future, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And in the meantime, I'm going to finish off the rest of this bean burger. And I thank you very much for watching. Mmm, delicious.